previously yeah. on straightforward to PC build So we probably should have checked on Noctua's site. The low profile mode is 35 millimeters for RAM clearance. That's what I should have checked. My bad. So I'm on my third run of a R23 stability test stress test loop right now. Um, I'm also doing a 3D test stress test as well. And I'm just basically trying to see how the Fractal Terra can handle a 3080 7800X3D with a XP90 full copper um, cooler. So right now, this is the third run in total. Um, for what it's worth though, I think it's been pretty great. I will. I'll zoom in with my phone in a little bit uh, so you guys can see what the actual temperatures are and whatnot. But here it is. Um, this is me speaking right now in terms of like decibel levels, right? But then if I were to hold this right next to the machine, the fan is fully going on right now. I can feel the heat coming off this little machine. It's kind of nice during the winter right now, but this is what it would be from a decibel perspective. Not bad, I'd say. Um, I can clearly hear it, like the fan, if it's running right now. But if I think I have headphones on and I'm like listening to music or gaming, I don't think it'd be that bothersome. Let's zoom in right quick to the actual temperature right now of what we got going on. So it's 55 degrees right now uh, outside. Right now we're hitting 77 degrees Celsius as a maximum uh, through a three benchmark run, uh, averaging about 60. And as far as thermal throttling goes, it's a no still, so that's kind of nice. After I'm on my third run currently, and then as far as GPU temperatures, we're hitting about 83 maximum, so it's pretty good um, for this little machine. I haven't done any sort of, uh, you know, custom fan settings or whatever, but yeah, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I I like it. I like it. I think this is kind of what I, I expected. Uh, this is very similar to a lot of other people on SFF PC as well. But yeah, that's the stress test. I don't want to, I probably shouldn't run this too long because this is not my PC. This is my friend. So I'll stop that now. Now. Alright, so before we get to doing this, things we need to make this AM5 board work. We need the bracket that says the AM4 instead. Alright, so we just need the four screws. The bracket, I think. And then some thermal paste. So what we need to do first is take this off of this guy. Take these 1700 things off and then
Here, I'm showing you the mounting bracket. Specifically, if you notice one side does not have any markings, while the other side does have this kind of two square long rectangle marking. You wanna make sure you screw it into the side without the markings. Again here, making sure you look at the side without the markings, and that's the side you will be screwing into the cooler itself. And then next I'm going to utilize the long screws that come with this. Actually, they all look like long screws. That's not very helpful. Oh, they're slightly, okay, they're slightly longer. You can tell. They're slightly longer. So you want to utilize these ones now. So grab all four of these. So make sure they're all the same height. One, two, three, four. Clearly you can tell they're not the same height here. All right, so put those aside and then you take these and then you just screw them onto here for now. All right, so once you put all those on there, then we're ready to mount this onto the actual CPU itself. All right, so we have the AM4 backplate, and that just goes on here, right? And then it just goes back at the top, right? So the top of the motherboard is over here, at the bottom of the board, and then Earlier we installed those four long screws and that's what's gonna be held by with these nuts here. So as you can see, I've already kind of placed it in, but I haven't, I've already placed them, but these basically go into here. They just tie it on and that's it. And that's the whole installation process for the AM4. Basically this is utilizing AM5 with an AM4 bracket. So it's kind of nice to know if you have the Thermorite cooler. And that just kind of sits on top in here. Right. So it just fits right in. Yep, 7800X3D. Put some thermal paste on here. And then let's get this thing installed. Okay. Take this said dot dot. That AM4 backplate and screw on the hex screws.
nice. You get a little tool to help you tighten it. Oops. Awesome. Now my friend can utilize his Trident ZRAM. Sick, right? AM4. So it's nice. The Thermalright AXP90 can utilize an AM4 bracket. This is the AXP, to be exact, this is the AXP90X53. Sorry, X47. AXP90X47 full low profile cooler that works for AM5 boards too. So there it is. If it it's get the nice RGB with the Trident Z too. Thanks for checking out the video. If you guys are curious in actually watching the build vlog itself completely, you can check it out over here. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.